You are watching The Pretty Fix, and I am celebrity makeup artist Melissa Murdick, here to teach you literally everything that you want to know about makeup. If you aren't subscribed yet, just FYI, you gotta get with it because you're missing out. Anyways, summer is upon us, and I'm sure that just like me, you've got a new wedding invitation coming in the mail every time you turn around. Whether you've gotta be in the wedding or you're just attending, you definitely need to amp up your look a little bit and look good in pictures. So this tutorial is gonna show you a super easy, pretty look that you can wear to any wedding that's on your agenda. To look great for a wedding, you do need to do a full face of makeup. So with that in mind, you're gonna need to have on hand all of your usual makeup, kinda like your foundation, concealer, mascara, brushes, yada, yada, yada. The only special products that you wanna make sure that you have is a powder bronzer, an eyeshadow palette that has at least one dark shimmery shade and one light shimmery shade, and a pink lipstick that looks great on your skin tone. As far as the eyeshadow colors go, bronze tones are always universally flattering, but other natural shades like plum are a great option as well. So just choose what you like and what you think looks best on you. If you're totally stumped, don't worry, I've got product recommendations right beneath this video. A special occasion is definitely the right time to make sure that your skin looks perfect. So pick up a little bit of foundation off the back of your hand with your foundation brush or sponge and apply an even layer to your face, adding extra in areas that you notice that need more coverage. Blend the foundation down onto your neck just a bit so that you don't look like one of those girls where you can clearly see where it starts and stops around her jawline because that is the worst. Then go in with some concealer to hide anything else that's still showing through, like under eye circles, redness, blemishes, all that really fun stuff. You also wanna add a dot or two onto your eyelids as well and blend it in because this is gonna create an amazing base for your eyeshadows in the next step. Now that your skin is flawless, you'll want to dust it with a little bit of translucent powder to set everything in place and reduce shine. Pick up a bit of powder on your large fluffy brush, tap off the excess, and then sweep it across your entire face, making sure you get those eyelids too. You can add a little extra in areas you know you get oily, like your forehead, alongside your nose, down your chin, and make sure that you don't skip this step because in photos you often appear shinier than you do in real life and nobody wants to be the greasy bridesmaid. Nobody. Use a large eyeshadow brush and pat your darkest eyeshadow on the entire outer half of your eyelid, kind of in a triangle shape, up to where your eye socket is, which is kind of above your crease. Then use a clean blending brush in a windshield wiper motion to blend out the edge of the shadow so that there's no distinct line where it begins and ends. Now use a smaller eyeshadow brush to pat your lighter eyeshadow on the inner half of your eye, which is really gonna open and brighten it up. To complete your shadow, take your smallest eyeshadow brush and wiggle a bit of that darker eyeshadow shade beneath your lower lash line so that it looks softly defined. Now that the shadows are good to go, you can line your upper lash line. Keep the liner as thin and close to your lashes as possible for the inner half of your eye, and then double the thickness about from the center of your eye to the outer corner. Finish off your eyes by adding two coats of mascara to your upper lashes, and then using whatever is left on the brush to add a bit to your lower lashes as well. Because it's summer, it is the perfect time to sweep on a little bronzer in place of blush so that you get a super healthy looking glow. Using a blush brush, pick up a little bit of bronzer and sweep it across the back of your hand to remove the excess product. Then sweep that bronzer lightly across your cheeks to add a little color. You can always add a bit more if you need, but start light and very gradually build that color up until it looks nice. Pink is always a great go-to for lips because it's feminine and there's a wide range of pinks that look great on any skin tone. Find a pink lipstick that you love and then swipe it on straight from the tube and you are good to go. Because you are likely going to be at this wedding until what feels like 
the end of time, you need to make sure that you bring a few touch-up products with you, like your lipstick and powder, so that you can kind of just touch up throughout the event and stay camera ready. I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you. If so, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button so that you can see all the other amazingly easy tutorials I've got coming your way. Also, make sure you follow The Pretty Fix on Instagram and head right on over to theprettyfix.com for tons more exclusive makeup tips, inspo, and expert makeup know-how straight from me.